the publicity from Take-Two Productions called its recently concluded show an imaginative, stripped-down interpretation of Into the Woods. This was not, however, a concert version of the Stephen Sondheim musical. There was no more doubling than usual. The actors were in full costume, and they were totally involved in their encounters with others. Most of the stripping down was in the bridges between encounters, but even these were executed with purpose under director Gary Long. Into the Woods was Take Two's first production in 2004. Many members of that cast were in the recent staging, too, some in the same roles, some in more mature parts. Either way, the thought behind the interpretations and the execution on stage were always impressive. The level of achievement was so consistent that I have to name everyone in the ensemble of 18. Patrick Kerwin is the baker, Jazzy Danziger is the baker's wife, Karen Folks is the witch, Dave Gibson is the narrator, Corey Frank is Jack, Michelle Weltman is Jack's mother, Hallie Jackson is Cinderella, Terry Bielstein is her stepmother, Kim Smith and Melanie Kozak as the stepsisters, Eileen Walham Fechtel is Cinderella's mother and the giant, Avery Smith is Little Red Riding Hood, Lauren Anderson Arnett is her grandmother, Bob Efkin is the wolf and Cinderella's prince, Kimberly Click is Rapunzel, Jeffrey M. Wright is Rapunzel's prince, Tom Emmons is the steward and others, and Sam Caney as Milky White. The singing was very satisfying, as was the accompaniment by the onstage band of 10 under music director Nate Jackson. Kim Smith's representational costumes worked well on Bill Bielstein's evocative set. Kelly Ross Kerr and Jazzy Danziger received well-deserved credit as sound designer and graphic designer, respectively. The venue is a new one for the company and, for me, the Tower Grove Church. It's a promising space and it has a large parking lot, which you enter from Tower Grove Avenue just north of Magnolia. Yeah, and it is a, a pleasant place. I mean, it's got many limitations as a theater, but I think, the, uh, as we saw with the Shakespeare, which was also there, they're, they're learning to work with that space. And this was a very enjoyable uh, end of the woods, and I was struck somehow the, the young woman playing Little Red Riding Hood, every production of it I've seen, she's just delightful. It must be something in the way the thing was <laughs> written. I mean, this time it was a young woman named Avery Smith. She was fine, but I, I, I'm always struck by that. Let's hear some of the music. Thank you. 